One pound fifty. And a summons to appear at the West London Magistrates Court first thing Monday morning. Oh, no. You're not in trouble with the law again. <laughs> Striking a police officer with an offensive weapon. Namely, 30 bobs with her own knickers and bras. Was he hurt? Right? <laughs> Only his dignity. It didn't go much as a pair of salmon pink wrist cutters dangling down the back of his helmet. Well, what do you want to do that for? You can't go around walloping an old bill with old rags. I didn't wallop him. I merely chucked him over the balcony so I wouldn't have to carry him down. I don't know what all the fuss was about. It was lucky he wasn't a bleeding mangle. <laughs> Here on it. That's the last of the rags. Oh, that's very good, Aaron. That's a good day's work, that is. Things is looking up. Why things is going in this country, people won't be getting rid of their eggs, they'll be wearing them, mate. <laughs> it's all falling apart, I'll tell you. The whole system is collapsing. There's revolution in the air. You mark my words. Two years. That's what it gives it, mate. Two years. And the only well-dressed people in this country will be the army and the police force. <laughs> It'll be a right-wing takeover, I'm telling you. What's it? Good evening. The newly installed Prime Minister, General Sir Percival Ashby, DSO, DSM, MM and Bar, appealed to the country today for calm and unity in these troubled times and promised that free elections would be held within the next 20 years. <laughs> Meanwhile, the search for Anthony Wedgwood Ben continues. <laughs> The public trial of Harold Wilson entered its third week with an impassioned plea from the doc that he was only carrying out orders from Hugh Scanlon. Once again, Wembley Stadium was packed for the trial. <laughs> the ship carrying the exiled Threads Union Congress to the Isle of Men was accidentally torpedoed three times today by one of Her Majesty's submarines. After a great deal of machine gun fire, there was no survivors. The captain was awarded the DSO. <laughs> The last plane load of Nig Nogs flew out from London Airport today. <laughs> Whilst on the roof of the number one air terminal, the band of the Grenadier Guards played I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Early this morning, Barbara Castle committed suicide by throwing herself out of the window of the private wing of the Charing Cross Hospital. <laughs> that is the end of the news. Now, will you all kindly go home, stay off the streets, and remain in your homes till tomorrow morning? <laughs> yeah, two years. So I'll give it, mate. Two years. I wouldn't mind half of them things happening now. I know you would. You'd enjoy it, wouldn't you? A nice little police state. Oh, you would love that. Yeah, at least the train would run on top. Well, it's a bloody so better than it is now. It's chaos. Inflation, wage claims, crime waves, long hair, drugs, strikes. I don't go on strike. How can you go on strike when you don't do anything? People <laughs> like me that keep this country going, mate. I'm the silent majority, I am. The silent... <laughs> Patriotic, law-abiding. When did you last pay your income tax? Oh, well, that's different. That's a matter of principle. I'm not paying income tax for the socialist government. <laughs> you said that when Ramsay MacDonald got in. Well, I can't... You ain't paid any since. <laughs> I can't afford income tax. I'm a poor man. Here. That's not bad, is it? Here, I'm having that. What are you doing? I'm keeping this. I'm keeping all that stuff. No, that's not for keeping. That is for selling. No! It's quality goods, this stuff. It's appreciating daily. Is it? Well, I never appreciate anything in this yard, least of all you. Now, you can put it all back in the sack. We is selling it. No! Goods is better than money. Look, Father, while I am well aware of the world's current mistrust in our monetary system and its preference for investing in objects, I feel I must point out to you that we have to live. One cannot eat a Botticelli canvas or a ball spare tyre. Indeed, as Big Jim Slater pointed out to his shareholders only the other month, and we is in the same position. Gentlemen, our cash flow liquidity is running at a level contrary to the required financial gearing necessary if we is to take advantage of any future upsurge in the spiralling economy. What does that mean? We're skin. <laughs> We're thoracic. We need money. We can't pay the bills with the junk we've got in this yard. I mean, we cannot present oneself at the council offices with a right demand in one end and a starting motor for a 1947 <laughs> Morris Minor in the other. Let me keep the jacket, Harold. What for? You're not going into the diamond skulls at Henley, are you? Go on, give it to me. No! Give us it! No! <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's right, no? It's vandalism. That's what it is. Sheer vandalism. Well, you're not having this lot. This is my winter collection. I don't understand you. you you've got three wardrobes full of clobber up there. But every time they bring anything home from the round without an album, it's, oh, yeah, 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 I love that. You've got more bleeding clothes than Madame Two Swords. <laughs> what is this clothes fetish with you? Well, I like to look well dressed. Yeah, but you never wear them. You only collect them. Well, look at you. You've been dressed like that since I was five. <laughs> I lost interest when your mother died. Oh, God. Besides, so there's no occasion for me to dress up these days. You never take me out anywhere. Well, I know what you're going to look like. I mean, this stuff is all out of Don't do that. Well, you've had some of them over 50 years. I mean, it's embarrassing. The last time we went out, to my dog, a ludicrous outfit you had on. You look like a cross between Neville Chamberlain and Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, bedroom is like a clothing museum. Here, that's a good idea. We'll put it on show. The Albert First Costume Exhibition. They'll jump at that at Hampton Court. You're so jealous of me, aren't you? You can't stand having an elegant father. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Rex Harrison, where are you? <laughs> Not so much nowadays, I admit. But when I was your age, I was the best-dressed man in Shepherd's Bush. Not Sundays only. Every time I got off the cart, I had a bath. Now I know you're lying. <laughs> a bath, changed, and off we went, your mother and me. Down Woodland, across the green, up to Hammersmith's Palais. Every night, like a couple of film stars we were, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have creases in my trousers in those days you could cut up a loaf of bread with. People used to lean out the windows to see what we'd be wearing next time. Yeah, well, I was left at home, strapped in my pram with a lump of bread pudding stuck in my mouth. <laughs> And the wireless turn up, so no one's got to hear me. Well, the neighbours come in now and again. Yeah, once a fortnight. You were never neglected. <laughs> oh no. Beats you a pair of shoes, not boots like all the other kids. I yeah, know. So are your old ones? The child of six going to school in short trousers and a pair of two-tone correspondence shoes, <laughs> stuffed with tissue paper so they wouldn't fall off. <laughs> my, 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 my toes never reached further than the lace holes ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pack this in before I lose this my temper. Here, yeah, come on. How we polish this up? We, we could get a nice tenor for this. Lovely little card table. It's not a card table, it's an occasional table. It's a card table. It's an occasional table. Card table. Well, if it's a card table, we can't sell it because we haven't got one. We ain't got a pack of cards either, so that sorts that out, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you got any of that uh, antique wax polish? Yeah, I've got some of the stuff I made. Yeah, I want to polish it, not strip it. Thank you very much. That's all right, this'll do. Well, just get these ironed and hung up. <gasps> hey! Oh, this is coming up a tree! Oh, Dad, Dad, I think, I think this could be a very important piece. I mean, look, it's definitely Rococo. Yeah, you can see the rings where the cups were. <laughs> no, 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 Dad, I think this is dead genuine. I think this could be right. It's an unpainted top. Oh, with a central unpainted plaque of Venus reclining with Cupid and her right Bristol hanging out. <laughs> Surrounded by ribbon, twist, foliated scroll, Monogrammed. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. Angelica Kaufman. Uh, yes, she was around at the time. Yeah. Didn't she paint the walls of Chizzy Cows? I forget whether it was inside or outside. <laughs> I know she uh, never got paid for it. Oh, Dad, look, look. Now, it's got the tapered legs, right? Sir, sir, 1750. We could get 50 quid for this. No, I've got a feeling, Dad, this time. I'll stop the iron and watch, Dad. It's kind of a beautiful list. I'm sure it's got to be a dead right one. Yes, yes, there's a couple of screws. They could be later additions. Here, it's signed, Dad. It is genuine. Uh, poker work, F, Y. Ah, oh, sorry. Wow. Five bananas. <laughs> oh, I said no. You always. I always what? Shh. What is it? Someone 
in the yard. I can't hear anything. I can. Ah, you're imagining things. No, I'm not. When you've been in charge of a six-man patrol in no man's land, 25 yards away from a machine gun nest of the Jerry's, you can hear a worm start a new hole. Isn't that amazing? You can hear that. Yet you can't hear the alarm clock when it's banged in your ear hole in the morning. <gasps> What's that for? Is that only customers? You never know. Well, I'm up with Germans with spiked helmets on, would they? There are two of them. I can't hear anything. Yeah, they're out there all right. Two men. Mine, God. <laughs> it's Kaiser Bill and Hindenburg. <laughs> They've come back to all you for destroying the German army single-handedly. <laughs> He's brilliant. But it's just what we're looking for. Yeah, you couldn't build this in the studio, could you? Ooh, no way. Okay, you two, stick him up. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the gun bit? Is he for real? Ah, oh, Tanner, no, it's his posse. Oh, it's all right, Grandad. Put your cannon away. Uh, we're only looking around. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know what they want. We just want to use your yard. Oh, everybody wants that. Yeah. Uh, there's a public lavatory down the street. <laughs> no, nothing like that, Grandad. No, we, we'd like to use it as a background for some fashion photographs. Right, funny fashions. No, yeah, it's contrast, isn't it? I mean, it's a change. Well, they're fed up with your stately homes and Moroccan palm trees. Oh, this is great. Juxtaposition. Glamour and luxury against a background of squalor. It'll leap out of the pages at you. You'll be lucky if I don't leap out of the pages at you, you cheeky little bleeder. <laughs> Get your hair cut. Daddy, try not to be so rude. He said it was squalor. Well, it is. <laughs> no offence, Grandad. I mean, I come from a bigger dump than this, don't oh, you bother? No. <laughs> In the East End. Well, why don't you go back there and take your snaps? Well, I can't. They've pulled it down. It's a trendy marina now. You can't move for Arad's vans and pufters. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, mind choir, what sort of thing, what you had in mind? Oh, well, you know, usual thing. Drape a few models around the yard. What? Girls? Yeah, well, I'm not wearing the frocks. <laughs> Girls, eh? Naked? Nah. Since when has skin been in fashion? As far as I'm concerned, it's never been out of fashion. <laughs> Here's our car. Uh, that's Bernie Mellish. I'm his agent. Bernie is our top number one fashion photographer. You know, Harper's Bazaar, Queen, uh, Vogue, that yes, sort of thing. You've yes, seen yes. stuff a million times. Yes, yes. Yeah, I should think we've got some of it hanging up in the cars. Oh, I shouldn't think so, Grandad. It's a bit too shiny for that. <laughs> the Exchange and Mart, that's what we used to use. Yeah, well, the point is, we'd like to come out down here tomorrow and, and do a session. Now, we're too busy. This is a place to work, this is. There are horses and carts coming in here all day long. We can't be held up with you lot poncing about. <laughs> oh, Dad, I mean, there might be no trouble. I mean, what room is a couple of girls going to take up? Uh, there would be about six of them. Ah, six, two, five, six. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, there's plenty of room, too. No, we'll pay you for it. No tax in the back pocket. Say no more, nudge, nudge, you know what I mean? <laughs> How much? Forty quid. Sixty. Fifty. When do you want to start? First <laughs> thing in the morning. Oh, and what about the house? Can we use the house because we need somewhere for the girls to change? Oh, yes, that'll be all right. Uh, they can use my room. No. Yes. That'll be extra. Th no, it won't. <laughs> uh, I think they will find it's all right. I mean, I have a mirror there and a comb. <laughs> well, don't bother about that. Uh, the girls will bring all their own gear. Well, I think you'll find it's very clean. Well, at least my room is, and I can't speak for him. I'll never go in there. Oh, room. yeah. Well, fine. Uh, an early start, then. Uh, we'll get in early about half past eight. All right. Uh, if the silly cows can find their way, that is. Oh, oh. Oh, I've never been west of Marble Arch. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I... The lolly. In advance. Yes. Twenty. Forty. Got a ten. No. I... <laughs> All right, but we want tea for that. All day, lots of it. And in cups, and none of your condensed milk, right? I'll see ya. Well, that's a good day's work, wasn't it? Yeah, I hope they're all not like Twiggy. I mean, she's nice, but I prefer them in assorted shapes, you know. <laughs> 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 
Of a ten? No, I have no intention of going out in the cart today, Father. I have a slight head. I think I've caught a cold. Oh. Well, you'd better go to bed then, hadn't you? And stay there until they've gone. No, I don't think that will be necessary. Harold, you don't seriously think that any of these birds will give you a tumble, do you? Well... <laughs> ah, they like trendy people. Well, I'm trendy. Trent, you? You're about as trendy as a Russian motor car. Thank you very much. There's nothing like a word of encouragement from your father. What is that? A bacon sandwich. Oh, yes. I thought it was a foundation stone for a new flyover. Well, if you don't want it, don't eat it. One of them models can have it. Well, I hope it's not the one who does the bread advert in the balloon. <laughs> She'll never get it off the ground. <laughs> now, listen, you. I want you to behave yourself. Now, some of these girls come from very good class families, so no effing and blinding. <laughs> and if you feels like a doily cart, you goes outside, all right? Do it, do it, do it, do it! And no dirty jokes. <laughs> and no pinching their bums. <laughs> Hello. We're the models. I believe you're expecting us. Oh, yes. There are three of us. Oh? The others yes. won't be long. Do you want us to come in, or is there some other arrangement? Oh, please, do come in. Uh, if you'd care to follow me. Oh. oh, do be careful. There's a hole in the carpet. Uh, this is the lunch, and uh, this is my father. Say something, father. Good morning, ladies. Oh, Father, there you are. Uh, these ladies is some of the models what is gracing our house today. This is Vicky, this is Nina, and I'm Carol. Charmed, I'm sure, Carol. I'm Albert, and that one there is Harold. Hello. Hi. Pleased to meet you. I'm Carol. Yes, yes, you uh, told me. Father, I think I've got my head coming on. Would you go and make a cup of tea, please? Yes, certainly, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to uh, sit down? Careful! What? Nothing. I mean, you, you, you can sit there or you can sit over there. Do you mind if we Oh, yes, yes, please, please, please do. Um, would you like one of mine? Oh, thank you very much. No, stay there. Oh, no, of course not. Anybody out? Oh. oh, good, we're all here then. Right, come on, come on, girls. Morning. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get on with it. Start getting into this, Natalie. I'll see you outside in the yard, right? Right. Let's get on. Then it's hard to put a cup. Come and sit down over here. <laughs> you know, I think it's marvellous the way you get about the house. I, pardon? Without bumping into things. Oh, no, no! I, I'm not blind! No, no, no! I, 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 I
Oh, yeah, for the, for the, for the, for the, I wasn't looking so hard. I didn't see a thing. I was, you know, listen, I'll get it every night. I mean, I don't need to, to do this. Excuse me, I'll help my father with the kettle. He's got a weak wrist on that. Damn it, now. Now, mate. Oh, I wasn't looking so hard. I didn't see a thing. I was, you know, I didn't see a thing. Oh, I couldn't see anything. No, I couldn't see anything. No, I can't see anything. Go on, get out of it. That's a little pervert. <laughs> Only we can't keep falling over you every time we open the door. You can't understand. I didn't see it. You'd better hurry up or you'll be late for school. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'll get him at playtime. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. I'm oh, not you're not in it's not me, you see. It is my father. He's the dirty one. I'm the clean one. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, please. I will not. <laughs> I'm most terribly sorry. I wasn't looking, really. It's the woodworm, you see. Would you care for some cocoa? That's it. That's better. Now keep it going. Oh, try and look sexy, dear. Think of who you had last night. <laughs> oh, no. Well, think of Oliver Reed, then, eh? Now, what would you like to do with him? That's it. That's better. Good. Yeah, now, he's rubbing his hands all over you. Good, good. That's it. <laughs> all up your leg. Good, good. <laughs> now, come on, girls, remember the 20s, you know, Chicago, Prohibition. <sighs> oh, all right, girls, relax. Take five, oh, have a smoke. Oh, would you care for a lemon curd sandwich? <laughs> That's all I need, you know. <laughs> What's the problem? Well, look at them. I can't think of a bloody thing to do with them. Yeah. We've still got another dozen outfits to do yet. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's think. May I make a suggestion? What? Well, to sort of ring the changes, to, would it not be a good idea to have a male model and have the girls sort of uh, drape around him? Yeah. Yeah, it might. Yeah, but we're never going to get a model down here at this time of day, especially in the right clothes. <laughs> no, forget it. May I make another suggestion? What? I've had some experience at modelling. You? Yes. In the past, my services have been in great demand at the East Acton Camera Club. You know, sort of a character study. Uh, sort of, you know, with the cart, without the cart, uh, with the horse, without the horse. Uh, I've been told I has a very photogenic face. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not wooden. I mean, I, I've learned the art of relaxing in front of the uh, camera. Uh, people say that I can look quite natural sometimes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it a try. I mean, film don't cost much, does it? Mm. Yeah, go and get changed then. Right. Pardon? Well, have you got any 20s gear? Oh, certainly not. I rather thought I would be like this. People say that I do look very good in it. <laughs> Well, that's no good. I mean, look at it. It's not even fashionable. Well, get your working gear on. I don't suppose that's changed much. No, but, 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 yeah, but... Yeah, but you... Working gear. Oh, working gear. <laughs> well, it's a pity he hasn't got any Gatsby gear. Yeah. Still, never mind. All right, girls, come on in. It's fantastic! Great! <laughs> That's just what we're looking for. Where'd you get that gear? Oh, yes. Authentic, this is. I haven't worn it for 40 years. Yeah, we've got to use it. How much? 35 quid. 45? 40. Where do you want me to stand? Stand over here. Oh, that's great, Grandad, great. Here, Carol, come and stand by the side of him. 
We'll get some Bonnie and Clyde shots. Hey, Vicky Nina, come on, girls, round the back of him. That's great. Oh, great. Hurry, oh, I'm ready. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm... get out, get out. We don't need you now. Oh, this is much better. Look at that. He goes marvellous with the outfits. Oh, I told you to come in useful. Hey, Bernie, hmm? supposing uh, I was to undo me jacket and flash me waistcoat, you could see me shoulder up. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm holding one of them for horses, see? Come on, you stand in front of me, darling, and I'll put my hand round your waist, and the cops are over there, see? Now, come along, you coppers, come and get me. Yeah, yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah, and Vicky can be me mole. Would it be a good idea if I was to get my eye to Please don't interrupt me. Come on, make a cup of tea, there's a dear. That is terrific. Now, keep it going. Oh, that's great, Grandad, great. Now, bring the shoulder round, Cal. That's it. Now lift your arm. Lovely. Oh, this is great. My idea. Right. Come on. And now look scared. How can he look scared? He's not going to wear lettuce. Well, he's not going to wear He's a grandfather, not a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see those pigs. Get the leg over. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, that is disgusting. Young children could see that. Out. Oh, this is great. This is great. Dad, what am I sucking of in the oven? Follow this line. Oh, God, this plane goes. <laughs> no, to the side. <laughs> Cross two deaths. Fifty. And the summons to appear at the West London Magistrates Court first thing Monday morning. <laughs> oh no, you're not in trouble with the law again. <laughs> Striking a police officer with an offensive weapon. Namely, 30 bobs with her own knickers and bras. Was he hurt? <laughs> Only his dignity. It didn't go to the MMM bar, appealed to the country today for calm and unity in these troubled times, and promised that free elections would be held within the next 20 years. <laughs> Meanwhile, the search for Anthony Wedgwood Ben continues. <laughs> the public trial of Held Wilson entered its third week with an impassioned plea from the doc that he was only carrying out orders from Hugh Scanlon. Once again, Wembley Stadium was packed for the trial. <laughs> the ship carrying the exiled Threads Union Congress to the Isle of Men was accidentally torpedoed three times today by one of Her Majesty's submarines. <laughs> 
<laughs> After a great deal of machine gun fire, there was no survivors. The captain was awarded the DSO. <laughs> the last plane load of Nig Nogs flew out from London Airport today. <laughs> Whilst on the roof of the number one air terminal, the band of the Grenadier Guards played I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. Early this morning, Barbara Castle committed suicide by throwing herself out of the window of the... a pair of salmon pink wrist cutters dangling down the back of his helmet. Well, what do you want to do that for? You can't go around walloping old Bill with old rags. I didn't wallop him. I merely chucked him over the balcony so I wouldn't have to carry him down. I don't know what all the fuss was about. It was lucky he wasn't a bleeding mangle. <laughs> Here on it. That's the last of the rags. Oh, that's very good, Aaron. That's a good day's work, that is. Things is looking up. Why well, things is going in this country, people won't be getting rid of their rags. They'll be wearing them, mate. <laughs> It's all falling apart, I'll tell you. The old system is collapsing. There's revolution in the air. You mark my words. Two years. That's what it gives it, mate. Two years. Then the only well-dressed people in this country will be the army and the police force. <laughs> It'll be a right-wing takeover, I'm telling you. What's that? Good evening. The newly installed Prime Minister, General Sir Percival Ashby, DSO, DSA, Private Wing of the Charing Cross Hospital. <laughs> that is the end of the news. Now, will you all kindly go home, stay off the streets, and remain in your homes till tomorrow morning? Yeah, two years. So I'll give it, mate. Two years. I wouldn't mind half of them things happening now. I know you would. You'd enjoy it, wouldn't you? A nice little police state. Oh, you would love that. Yeah, at least the train would run on top. Well, it's a bloody so better than it is now. It's chaos. Inflation, wage claims, crime waves, long hair, drugs, strikes. I don't go on strike. How can you go on strike when you don't do anything? <laughs> People like me that keep this country going, mate. I'm the silent majority, I am. The silent... <laughs> Patriotic, law-abiding. When did you last pay your income tax? Oh, well, that's different. That's a matter of principle. I'm not paying income tax for the socialist 